sort of takes humans to develop an awareness to this idea. The instance is very strange. In this one, the figure is the instance of fire, and this cost is very justified. Uh, you can see it's up to 48%. I think the, the, the reasonable figure is going to be the more experience about 20% of patients have cost. And the one third of these patients, which this is also a realistic figure, 7.3% of the patients you see in this event is are forced to start with their basic vectors because of course that can really be a measure for such patients. And the different like the nine six study and like the black text the figures are different, but seven point three percent is a very realistic figure. And it doesn't matter which is the method we use, the standard will have instance of cost and the standard will have similar instance of this drug. So don't listen to any drug company telling you that this is a method that does not cost off on this because you know it's not true. Uh, there have been some talks about market books like production, and this is a poor inflammatory substance to the drug that you can see here since. And that our supplementation can decrease this in this stuff. This is a very and I think we should try some iron supplementation before we start in the rest of the habitats, specifically if the patient is not really serious and complaining. And if a rest of the habitat is a rest of the habitat and tolerant, there will be some constants and such that work as complex the first choice, as we have seen, it fits in all categories of hypertension, risk and condition. The second uh, issue is the data block on chest diseases, and I think the activity is the problem of story of this. I'll try to show you what's going on. I need this slide uh, by myself, and uh, I'm just counting that one selective beta blockers, and alpha beta blockers and alpha blocking activities are serious drugs, and you can really use them. We don't know what to do. It's a selective beta blocker, but somehow it has mixed selectivity, and the TV load is one of the worst drugs dealing with asthmatic patients. Not one of of course, which is the prototype as a very serious drug in asthmatic patients. And again, the part of the world which has alpha blocking activity is also an unselected beta blocker, and it's a very serious drug. There are two main drugs that can be applicable to chest disease. One of them is the visit level, and the other is the visit below, which is a new uh, beta blocker that has nitric oxide production. You can see here that the airway resistance using this hormone was compared to placebo while the heart rate dropped in these patients. You can see the hormone, you can see the hormone, the hormone you use, there is market increase in airway resistance uh, and uh, functions, spike in functions in patients receiving beta blockers. As a matter of fact, beta blockers are very important drugs, and in those patients, even with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, the use of beta blockers are to bring drugs even better than those having no beta blockers or pulmonary obstructive disease. So, beta blockers are chronic stone treatment. You should not neglect them. And if you can do this, you can use such drugs, you will avoid complications. Uh, this also uh, study shows that up to 10 milligrams of visual flow, you can have still no change in airway resistance. While with pointing in the hands of a minimal change, you see here with the female it's very severe. Uh, this is the minimal which is also a second new beta blocker with nitric oxide activity. You can see here all the parameters, whether it's the uh, the exhaled nitric oxide, the force of the, the, uh, the force of vital capacity, the uh, force of expiratory volume in the first second, all these parameters are similar in placebo and in the middle. And uh, in, in this study, also, which is recently published, the video resulted in a favorable effect to improve inspiratory flow, coupled with an improved quality of life in patients with even so PG, not just asthma. And in contrast to other people, lack of physical role and paper role, the video did not adversely affect lung function. So, um, the take home message uh, is the chairman of the hypertension is a prevalent disease. Absence of complaints and the patients, all other offensive classes are suitable for.
the broad geometry reactions and proper argument reactions and with the passage of time and with age as a major factor there is a progressive growth in the subcontinent of the position of Maybe and cholesterol and subsequently uh, complicated by uh, fibrosis, uh, obstruction of flow, uh, calcification, uh, and uh, uh, rupture. In clinical medicine, this also represents a continuum starting by exposure to thoroughly anti uh, and acid. But uh, risk factors leading progressively to uh, symptomatic atherosclerosis, hypertension and diabetes induced left ventricular hypertrophy, and major complications of atherosclerosis resulting in uh, acute coronary syndrome, myocardial infarction, myocardial dysfunction, progressive remodeling hypertrophy. Enlargement and fibrosis of the left ventricle predisposition to arrhythmic and sudden death, uh, congestive heart failure, and finally uh, ending in uh, taking away the life of the patient. Risk factors and risk factor management is very important. Usually, there is a clustering of risk factors in patients with coronary artery disease. And these, as you know, are the major uh, risk factors. You can also notice that CRP uh, as a marker of inflammation is also a risk factor because of the knowledge that immune mechanisms and uh, uh, stimulation of cytokines and pro inflammatory uh, factors is, is a major uh, factor of, of importance in the development and progression uh, of cardiovascular And of course, age as a major and non modifiable uh, risk factor. This is one of the systems that are uh, made uh, by the European Society of Cardiology to try to measure the global impact of the cluster of risk factors on 10-year mortality attributed to atherosclerosis and atherosclerosis. So it integrates gender uh, with age, uh, total serum cholesterol level, systolic Hypertension and uh, whether or not smoking uh, is one of the main factors. And it shows uh, um, in color a progressive increase in coronary artery uh, disease risk uh, with the uh, dark brown red uh, highest uh, risk of greater than 20% risk of death or my cardiac infarction uh, 10 years uh, later. Uh, this allows you to uh, place your patient in the particular category uh, of, of risk in a quantified manner, and it also allows you to measure the effects of the intervention, whether it's a lifestyle intervention such as change in diet, change in smoking, or whether it's a pharmacologic intervention such as statin induced reduction in serum cholesterol that shifts the risk of the patient from the more uh, severe to the, to the less uh, dangerous uh, categories. And these are the guidelines for uh, secondary prevention in patients with early artery disease, complete cessation of smoking, blood pressure less than 140 over 90, and with major risk less than 130 over 80, LDL cholesterol less than 100, and lifestyle uh, 
inventions and the threshing and growing of this fact of modification depends on the calculated tenure risk. If the risk is greater than 20%, you need to get the low density rate of the interest to the less than 100. If it is uh, between 10 and 20%, you need to get it below 130. And uh, the risk is smaller uh, than the threshold of the prices. And these are the scattered drives for primary and secondary uh, preventions in thousands of patients with early heart disease, showing a predictable uh, linear relationship between the reduction in MDA level and the reduction in coronary artery disease risk down to an ideal cholesterol level less than 100 and actually less than uh, 70. So each 1% reduction in ideal cholesterol by effective starting therapy, we get a 1% reduction in coronary artery disease penalty. Uh, of course, coronary artery disease has different clinical presentations. Patients with chronic stable angina have a low risk of 1% mortality at uh, one year. Patients with acute chronic syndromes, ST elevation myocardial infarction, months ST elevation myocardial infarction, have a much higher risk of 10 to 20% mortality uh, at one year. The first presentation may be seven cardiac deaths. And eventually, with time, the patients go into uh, inexorable uh, heart failure. This depends on the behavior of the atherosclerotic plant. It may progressively and slowly enlarge the coaching on the coronary lumen presenting with chronic constant, with chronic stable angina, or it may rupture with uh, formation. Of a major thrombus that obstructs the lumen and presenting with acute uh, coronary syndrome. Those vulnerable plaques that are prone to rupture are known as soft plaques. They, are, they have a large lipid core, they are eccentric, they have an active inflammatory reaction going on beneath the plaque surface, they have a thin fibrous plaque. They usually rupture at the shoulders of the cap because of the actions of the matrix, the cover, the kinases, uh, and inflammatory cells, and exposing the rich thrombogenic content to the uh, blood movement, composing a major uh, thrombus. If the thrombus is a mixed thrombus and totally occlusive of a large epicardial artery, you get an ST elevation by carbon infarction clinically. If the thrombus is mainly uh, consistent of the work matrix and work and is partially uh, occlusive associated with intermittent total occlusion and distant embolization, you get unstable angina for non ST elevation by carbon infarction. This, of course, is an example of ST elevation by carbon infarction. You need greater than 2 mm elevation in two contiguous leads in the precordial leads, a 1 mm ST segment elevation with the J point elevated in the end in the leads to establish the diagnosis. Otherwise, the diagnosis of stemming is also made if you have a new left bonding branch block in the patient presenting with chest pain. In unstable angina and non-stemmy, the electrocardiogram may not show recent changes or may show half a millimeter ST segment depression or deeply inverted T waves but no ST segment change. The mainstay for diagnosis of myocardial infarction, however, is a rise in serum troponin. Troponin is a regulatory contractile protein with a cytosolid and a structural uh, tone in the carbon biocytes. It rises four to six hours after the onset of uh, the single 
sort of what I call an infection, and remains elevated for 10 days to uh, 2 weeks. It has advantages over the previous design CK measurements. It is highly sensitive even to very small, minute, micro impacts and areas of microbial necrosis. It is very specific to uh, microbial injury, unlike the CK, which has large stores in the skeletal muscles, and it has a major, major link to, to prognosis. It has a, a large prognostic significance in patients with uh, acute coronary syndromes. Echocardiography is also uh, very important. It shows segmental low motion abnormalities, which is the whole map of coronary artery disease in myocardial ischemia, essentially a segmented disease. It allows uh, uh, the measurement of the injection fraction and index of the uh, most constituent function. And the uh, management of these two coronary syndromes, contemporary management, has now resolved to a simple distribution or removal of this obstructive thrombus to restore flow in the artery and viability uh, to the myocardium. And you can see that the 30-day mortality, if you fail to restore flow in patients with S-stimulation myocardial infarction and token thrombotic occlusion of a large epicardial artery, the 30-day in hospital or uh, after hospital mortality is about 9%. If you use thrombolytic therapy, the mortality is reduced by about 20% to 6%, and if you use mechanical reperfusion by catheter-based technology, the mortality is further reduced to 4.5%. There is one major condition, however, for the success of thrombolysis, and that is the relation to the time factor. If you treat patients in the golden hour, first hour after the onset of symptoms, you will be able to save more than 60 lives per thousand patients. And this declines with the progressive passage of time and loss of myocardium until after 12 hours, you will not be able to save more than 10 lives per thousand. In patients with unstable angina and non elevation, acute coronary syndrome, thrombolytic therapy is ineffective. Uh, but we use triple uh, antiplatelet therapy with aspirin, clopidogrel, and 2 b 3 a antagonists, and heparin uh, in high risk patients. High risk or low risk is categorized again by the measurement of uh, troponin. Those with elevated troponin represent uh, the highest risk in patients of high risk should be shuttled uh, to uh, invasive uh, intervention as early as possible. This is my last slide, and again it summarizes the, the progress that we had in the control of this Naval uh, disease. Uh, patients with acute coronary syndrome are at the highest risk for subsequent uh, mortality. And you can see how one beta blockers, statins, and anti thrombotic uh, therapy and the uh, ACE inhibitors uh, can do in the uh, risk reduction and prevention of uh, mortality and improvement of the quality of life. Prevention. The guidelines is to avoid at 
quit smoking as well as expose it to smoking to mutant atmospheres. Whatever the case is, I'm asking you to ask the skin fragrance of the species. If you're going to be a bit of a person, then you're asking if the person is a very good patient, but the case which is also a very good patient, who thinks the size of his products. So, that is the case of the other kind of patient. In practice, we make problems with custom less frequently than, of course, with the developers. It was a new sort of bunker system. There are fewer patients, and we usually know that there are measures to the custom. And now the availability of computer-grade Effectiveness as a substitute for asking can allow you easily to shift to long, long term life therapy with the PDG instead of asking in these patients. There is also a common solution uh, even for the data blocker complications because there is a new drug, Hydrogen. Uh, which will soon be uh, in the market that reduces the heart rate by an electrophysiologic effect on, uh, on the sinus uh, node depolarization rate, uh, reduces the heart rate and causes bradycardia uh, and uh, allows for all the useful effects of bradycardia in patients with Carbon ischemia uh, without having any effects uh, as beta blockers on the does not constitute a major problem. Maybe in acute chronic syndromes. And maybe they will have cause problems in acute chronic syndromes and in some patients who are uh, prone to, to, to tachycardia or to supraventricular arrhythmias with the use of uh, these agents. Sometimes it's a difficult problem when asthmatic patients are dependent on Sometimes uh, this may be a problem. It will be interesting to see again whether this new molecule, uh, Procorolan, uh, will allow for the carbon to the epicardic effect of these agents by keeping patients in the family. The last Patients with chest pain. We always have to worry about the patient with chest pain. And the fact of chest pain is very The two, uh, the, you know, of course, the clinical diagnosis of pain and bicardial ischemia is well known to uh, everybody. The, um, the important thing is not to miss a patient when he presents with pain outside the chest because some patients present with pain only in the referral area, pain in the back only, or pain in the left shoulder only, or pain in the right shoulder only, or pain in the equilibrium only. These are the patients who pain with shoulder pain, for instance, patients with shoulder pain, they go on antibiotics for some time while they have the acute uh, coronary syndrome. And uh, the two tools are to first get an electrocardiogram, and if you still have suspicion, not to stop if the ECG is normal, because in many of these patients, the electrocardiogram will still be normal. Uh, but then, if you still have suspicion and the, the pain is the current pain at rest, then to get the serum to put in the level. When you 
trial of course to reduce the bit of work of writing and uh, replace them with uh, constant antagonists uh, which reduces the hard things like uh, the rotamine, absorption, uh, or uh, antifism. This new drug is this may be a confirmative for the church. That's my last question. Yes, Osteoporosis, uh, as you know, of course, uh, is a disease of uh, medium-sized arteries, and uh, it notoriously involves the coronary arteries, the cerebral uh, arteries, the carotids, the vertebral arteries, and the peripheral arteries, the peripheral arteries, and the arteries. Because of the low pressure in the pulmonary circulation, high pulmonary circulation is a high volume, low pressure of circulation. And because of this, I think it is largely protected against atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis and calcification in the pulmonary artery and its branches develop only as a pathological entity in patients with pulmonary artery. Thank you. 
mesmo a Lisa Cruz, a Kiss, 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 Uh, still, it's not so clear that the weather hepatitis C is exacerbated or uh, initiated for both uh, for the asthma and the cerebellum. With regard to the interstitial lung disease, uh, it was found that a high prevalence of serum antibodies to hepatitis C in patient was about 28%, then had you matched it from two subjects. And uh, when we do analysis for the break of the reverse load, we in hepatitis C patient we found uh, excess nitrogens, lymphocytes, and resonophones. Uh, uh, reverse load studies were done in asymptomatic patient with no clinical or evaluation hazards with the session of the nitrogen to be used as a control for uh, the subject. Even so, hepatitis C virus genome is in some kinds of random biopsy. Uh, it significantly increased the receiver variability was found in hepatitis C with patients compared to control subjects, and found that generally suggests early interstitial lung disease. Other than the survey of our scientific situation on a patient with hepatitis C and had interstitial pneumonia for both because the next type of treatment is steroids and the most aggressive survey, intravenous pulse steroids. The condition of the land may improve, but the condition of the liver isn't to it. Again, so we discussed the primary effects of hepatitis C on the lung, and we discussed the second effects. With the session mixed with me, I said that the hepatitis C patient has a mixed with me, which may be associated with arthralgia, renal and neurological, and to a less extent, this pulmonary effect, which is usually in the mild form, and this is severe, it will induce alpha hemorrhage. I'm usually diagnosed with the same of the blood level, which is like high in the CT, and usually uh, treated with corticosteroid, again, a stitch situation with a toxic patient, plasma phenesis, and uh, the most important thing is direct antiviral form in the form of interferon and robotic. When you take a CNG, you can register some pneumonia complications from the vertebral pneumonia syndrome, but the vertebral pneumonia hypertension is more common as hydrothorax infections and the hypoxia. As you all know, vertebral pneumonia syndrome creates orthopedic dysfunction, hypoxemia, and vertebral pneumonia vasodilatation, and the difference in our cases is about 10 to 15 percent, and the spectrum range is from the subclinic of two sets of years old. Usually present with exertion of this name, but give me a sign and so on. And uh, the mechanism is uh, some sort of ventilation diffusion mismatch due to the vessel rotation of the cabana and the brick cabana bit. And usually the rest of the front is echo articulation labeled micro articulation abdomen. And so, sometimes in severe cases, we may be set to permanent and geography to be found in the news. The other two expectations remain the only in the radical treatment for vertebral pneumonia syndrome, and so some determination may occur only in the best most operative period, but, but most of the patients respond and improve within a few weeks up to when. But also, the vertebral pneumonia hypertension is diagnosed with pneumonia after pressure, which often needs a milk and exhaust, and is the pneumonia vascular resistance from the major pressure and the mild response to the hypertension. And it's strange in the compensated cases in 1% to 5%, and uh, in the of 2 to 20% in the deep compensated cases, and in the candidates for negative treatment. Uh, the mechanism is not well understood whether the pathology can change the form of the pneumonia vascular extraction, the modeling of the muscular pneumonia after wounds and even microsomboses. It's different uh, from the primary pneumonia hypertension because uh, this patient is uh, cirrhotic, usually have an increased cardiac output. The patient presents in the case of the case with echo gender, with exertion death primarily, and maybe even asymptomatic 